So today we just want to take a, a little bit of time to um, to read out some of the comments that you have sent in to us, uh, which we're very moved that you have uh, taken the time to send them in to us, uh, and also to, to give some kind of advice on where to go. Obviously, we don't know what no. to do, but I mean, there are organisations that absolutely specialise in this, and we've been speaking to the National Association uh, for People Abused in Childhood, uh, NAPAC, and, and they've been talking to us about, um, you know, what kind of help that they can give. And they've actually said that it's very common, particularly after something happens on television, either in a soap opera or in you know, in Cyrus' case, in real life, when somebody uh, tells of an experience that it prompts mm. an awful lot of calls mm. to them because mm. it obviously triggers memories in people. And, I mean, we, we've got a load of comments yeah. here. And yeah. do, do you want to start? Well, right, I've got one here that uh, is a good reminder that it happens to anybody. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing your story. I'm a male survivor, and talking is the only way forward. Mm. And then another one, which I think brings up the fact that it's not just about having the courage to speak out, but it's about the fact that you might have gone through years of not being believed. Yeah. When I was 16, I finally told someone that something similar had happened to me when I was about six or seven years old. I had no proof that it had happened, and I wasn't believed. So never said another word about it to another soul. Oh. I still haven't. If you saw me or my attacker, who is still in my life, mm -hmm. you would never have guessed. I think there are millions of girls and sometimes boys who go through these things quietly, and I'm so glad that Sarah found the courage to say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Linda, I, I, we've all got comments, but can I just say, we're going to read out some of the, of the stories that you have sent to us, but we're only scratching the surface. I mean, we got hundreds and hundreds of emails over the last 24 hours with people wanting to share uh, their stories. Um, so, so we're going to read as many okay. as we can, but we're scratching the surface. OK, this is from someone. Um, one year ago, my eight-year-old daughter told me a family member had been sexually abusing her for three years. Police could not bring charges due to the silly Scottish justice system. Her dad still does not believe this has happened to her and refused to consider one of his family could have done this to her. Mm. The extent and graphic detail she disclosed proves that this did happen to her. Mm. Now, I have got a family friend that um, her mum and dad used to make her go and visit this uncle every weekend, and she never wanted to go, and they didn't find out till years and years later that this mm. man had been sexually abusing her, mm. and it split the family in two. Mm. Half the family took his side, and the yeah. other half of the family took mm. her side. So I think a lot of the time, people are scared to come forward. Yeah. You know, and, and it's also a theme, actually, having read through the, all the comments which we have this morning, that a, a, in addition to the pain of the abuse, there is the pain of not being Be believed, believed yeah. by family yeah. members or feeling that you're yeah. letting family members down or that they've let you down yeah. and so there's a whole... And of causing that if you speak up you might cause a rift in the family just exactly. like that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So that you become the bad guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it, I've got often, one... Often it will, somebody will be abused by somebody that that person loves. Yeah. yeah exactly. You know, yeah. a family member that they still love mm. no matter mm. what's happening to them and they don't want to cause that that sort of pain uh, within the family. Well, yeah, and I mean, obviously, recently we've seen lots of high-profile uh, mm. child sexual abuse cases in the newspapers, but the, the facts are that it's thought to be something like nine out of ten childhood sexual abuse cases are from either a family member or somebody very close to the family. So it's not yeah. the stranger danger yeah. no, that no. we tend to be more comfortable yeah. uh, speaking yeah. to our children about. And do you remember years ago when Esther Ransom launched Childline? I remember it so well. I mean, it's a long time ago now. It must mm. be 30, yeah, 35 years. 30, 30 years ago. It had a big uh, anniversary. Uh, when, she, when she launched it and she talked about the whole problem of child abuse, she wasn't believed. A heck, a lot, a heck of a lot of people in the establishment sort of cried her down and said, she's overemphasising it, she's overstressing the whole problem. It doesn't really happen very much in this country mm. and mm. look well one in yeah. 20 children in great britain they're saying they yeah. have been abused that's one in every classroom practically isn't it i mean mm. the statistics are yeah, so i guess oh, when you look at it like yeah. that yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah i've got one here he says um everyone's anonymous obviously I, I felt so emotional listening to cyrus speak my family turned their backs and walked away my abuser is still alive it's hard at times to deal with things but easier now than it was 
My husband, daughters and great friend have helped me enormously. Mm. It just yeah. breaks your heart, doesn't mm. it? Well, Everyone yeah. that we've read. Uh, uh, absolutely. Oh. Um, I just wanted to read a, a little statement from Syra, um, who, you know, obviously it's been a difficult 24 hours for her as mm. well, for all sorts of reasons. Um, and she says, the outpouring of personal stories from people uh, who have been through it too has been overwhelming. Uh, thank you uh, for sharing. It's vital in raising awareness and helping others. She says, I don't feel brave. I feel lucky and grateful that I was able to deal with it, uh, something that I know many cannot. Um, so there you go. That's from, from Syra there um, uh, if you do need to, to speak to somebody um, about anything that you've been affected by in this area of childhood sex abuse please go to our website uh, we put up details of lots of groups and associations um, who we hope will be able to to help you so please do uh, access the support that is there if you've enjoyed that then why not click here for more and don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best loose women moments